بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دس از فرخندہ نصرت ایس ایس انگلش ایٹ ڈویژنل پبلک اسکول اینڈ انٹر کالج ساہیوال آئی ویلکم ٹو دا اسٹوڈنٹس آف نائنتھ کلاس ٹو آن لائن لیسن آف انگلش آرگنائزڈ بائی ڈویژنل پبلک اسکول اینڈ انٹر کالج ساہیوال یس ٹو اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے آر ٹاپک آف لرننگ از کامپریہنشن ایکسائز سی اینڈ گرامر ایکسائز ڈی آف حضرت اسما رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہا and our objectives for today's lesson are that i want the students to solve the comprehension exercise of unit number 4 with the help of their previous knowledge secondly i want the students to be able to understand the grammatical expressions anaphora and catafora as our first task is what is comprehension so let us have a quick look at what is comprehension In simple words, comprehension means to understand what is said or heard. So, we shall try to check our knowledge about the life of Asma Razzilah Ta'ala Anha through this comprehension exercise C. So, in this context, we will answer the following questions. Our first question is, What happened when Abu Jahl asked about Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq Razi Allah Ta'ala Anho from Hazrat Asma? There is a famous incident. When Abu Jahl asked about Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq Razi Allah Ta'ala Anho from Hazrat Asma Razi Allah Ta'ala Anha, she replied, How would I know? This answer infuriated Abu Jahl and he slapped Hazrat Asma Razi Allah Ta'ala Anha. Question 2 is, Why was Hazrat Abu Kuhafa Razi Allah Ta'ala Anho worried? So we need to know first who was Hazrat Abu Kuhafa and we have read in the story that he was Hazrat Asma Razi Allah Ta'ala Anha's grandfather. Why was he worried? He was worried because he thought that his son Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq Razi Allah Ta'ala Anho had taken all the wealth with him, leaving his Asma Razila Ta'ala Anha and children empty-handed and helpless. Question 3. How did his Asma Razila Ta'ala Anha console her grandfather? She collected some pebbles and put them on the place where her father used to keep his money and jewels and covered them with a piece of cloth. and made her blind grandfather touch them and feel it as all jewels and money which her father had left at home for the children. Question 4. Who was Hazrat Abdullah bin Zubair Razi Allah Ta'ala Anho? We know that he was the son of Hazrat Asma Razi Allah Ta'ala Anha. Question 5. Which incident in the story showed Hazrat Asma's love and respect for the Holy Prophet? Sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Its answer, during migration from Makkah to Medina, Hazrat Asma r.a. anha used to take food for the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam in the cave of Saur. She did this grand task at night at the risk of her life. This shows Hazrat Asma's love and respect for the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Question 6. Which incident in the story tells about the generosity of Asma Razila Ta'ala Anha? Generosity means open-heartedness. When Asma Razila Ta'ala Anha inherited a garden after the death of her sister, Hazrat Aisha Razila Ta'ala Anha, she sold it and gave away all the money among the needy and the poor, which proves her generosity. What message do you get from the life of Hazrat Asma Razi Allah Ta'ala Anha? We learn from Hazrat Asma's life that we should have firm belief in Allah and act upon the teachings of the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam even at the risk of our life. Question 8 and this is the last question. Her life would always be a beacon of light for all of us. How? Beacon of light means a tower of light. And how is her life a beacon of light? Hazrat Asma faced the sufferings and hardships of life with patience and valor and had firm belief in Allah Almighty and always stood her ground. 
so her life would always be a beacon of light for all of us. This is all for our comprehension segment. Now, let us learn some grammar portion. And in grammar, we are going to work on anaphoric reference and cataphoric reference. Obviously, these are the two new terms. So, let us have a detailed discussion on this. Anaphoric reference means a reference clause that comes after the main clause. Example is, Lisa hurt herself when she was running furiously. You can see that this sentence has two clauses. Lisa hurt herself when she was running furiously. And according to the definition, we need to find out the reference clause first. Lisa hurt herself. The subject in this part is Lisa. When she was running furiously, this is the second clause and the subject in this part is she. So, the part of the sentence which has a specified subject is known as the main clause. Whereas, the part of the sentence which has an unspecified subject is known as the reference clause. After the identification of the reference clause, we need to check the sequence of the reference clause. If the reference clause comes after the main clause, then that reference is known as anaphoric reference. Now, we further analyze our statement. Anaphoric reference comes from the word anaphora, means backward reference. If reference clause comes after the main clause, let us see another example. The president suspended his trustworthy minister. It was shocking. You can see that this sentence has Two clauses and we can find the anaphoric references and the cataphoric references only in those sentences which have more than one clause. So this sentence has two clauses and we have read in our earlier classes that one is the main clause and the other one is the subordinate clause. And that very subordinate clause is usually known as the reference clause. In this example, the president suspended his trustworthy minister is the first clause. It was shocking is the second clause. So, let us have an analysis in the form of table. Clause 1, the subject was president. And this is the specified subject. So, it is the main clause. Close to, the subject is it, it is unspecified and it is the reference clause. Hope you have understood it well. Our next term is cataphoric reference and it is exactly opposite to anaphoric reference. Its definition is reference clause that comes before the main clause. What was that? That was reference clause that comes after the main clause. And this is the reference clause that comes before the main clause. Example, as she was running furiously, Lisa hurt herself. Now again, you can see that she is the unspecified object. So this part of the sentence is the reference clause. And Lisa is the specified object. So this part of the sentence is the main clause. So if reference clause comes before the main clause, this is the Cataphoric reference. Let us have the analysis. Cataphora means coming before forward reference. Cataphoric reference. Example, yesterday's news was shocking. The president suspended his trustworthy minister. Let's have a, an analysis. Close one. What is the subject in the close one? Yesterday's news. And what is the subject type? Unspecified. So, the 
close with an unspecified subject is the reference clause close to is the president suspended his trust with the minister so what is the subject the president the president is the specified subject so the part of the sentence with specified subject is the main clause now let us have a look at the sequence reference clause comes before the main clause so this is the cataphoric reference with the help of the explanation i would like you to solve the given question tell whether the references given in these sentences are anaphoric or cataphoric okay there are two main steps that we need to do to reach the solution what would be the first step that identify main clause and reference clause first of all we need to identify which one is the main clause and which one is the reference clause then we will check the sequence of the clause if reference clause comes after the main clause that would be anaphoric reference and if reference clause that comes before the main clause that would be cataphoric reference yes this s dot s is used for specified subject and u dot s is used for unspecified subject so let us have a look at our first statement Abu Jahl, the chief of the disbelievers, in a fit of fury, headed towards Hz Abu Bakr Siddiq's Razi Allah Taala and his home. He began to knock at the door violently. So we can see that Abu Jahl is the specified subject. The chief of the disbelievers, in a fit of fury, headed towards Hz Abu Bakr Siddiq's home. He begin to knock at the door is the unspecified subject so this underlying clause is the reference clause once we have decided about the reference clause then we will see the sequence of this reference clause this is coming after the main clause so this is anaphoric reference our second statement her grandfather hazrat abu kuhafa was a disbeliever at that time yes her grandfather is the unspecified subject hazrat abu kuhafa razi allah taala anha is the specified subject so this part with unspecified subject is the reference clause so the second step is to check the sequence here we have the reference clause before this main clause so this is the get up for a reference our third statement when aslam was playing cricket he hurt his hand let's analyze it when aslam aslam is the specified subject so when aslam was playing cricket is the main clause he hurt himself he is the unspecified subject so this is the anaphoric reference as statement number 4 before she finished the work neelam had checked the mistakes once again let's have a look at the analysis before she finished the work she is the unspecified subject neelam had checked the mistakes once again neelam is the specified subject so this part of the sentence is the reference clause because it has an unspecified subject so its sequence is that it is coming before the main clause so it is cataphoric reference anis threw the stone he broke the window anis is the specified subject threw the stone so this is the main clause he is an unspecified subject so this is the reference clause so this reference clause is coming after the main clause so this is an anaphoric reference our statement number 6 is when she entered the room zeba was surprised to see so many guests when she entered the room she is an unspecified subject so this underlined part is the reference clause now this reference clause 
is coming before the main close and that is Zeba was surprised to see so many guests. So if the reference close comes before the main close, this is cataphoric reference. Our statement number seven is the city of gardens Lahore is famous for its historical places. Let's have a look at its analysis. The city of gardens is unspecified subject, whereas Lahore is the specified subject. So this part of the sentence is the reference clause. And this is coming before the main clause. So this is known as the cataphoric reference. Hope you have understood well with the help of definition, examples, explanation and excise. And with this help of learning, I have set a home assignment for you. What you have to do is that identify either the references given in the sentences below are anaphoric or cataphoric and do it in written form. Statement 1. Media plays a constructive role for society. It awares the masses. Statement 2. Rabia worked diligently, so she was admired by everybody. Statement 3. The doctor will see Aiza in the evening. Hopefully, she will be discharged from hospital today. Statement 4. The ship of the desert, camel, lives a very hard life. Statement number 5. He chose a good career for himself as Mr. Ali had given his son Adil the liberty to choose. Thank you so much students. Allah Hafiz. Take care.